Well, hello YouTube, Facebook, and wherever this video gets posted. This is Collins Customs Auto Garage, and we are working on a Mazda 6 2006. Customer hit a deer. So, replacing the hood, fender, bumper, and headlights, because she wanted the headlights to match. So, doing all that, she hit the deer in the front right corner. I've already got the headlights installed. I've got a little bit of work to do on the passenger side where she hit the deer at, but I'll be able to get that set up like it needs to be. So, uh, let me show you the body work I've done on the panels. Uh, first off, I'm gonna tell you, I had to source the panels from two different locations because freight's expensive on brand new parts. All right, I sourced the panels from two different pick and pulls. Uh, the pick and pull here in Wilmington, and then the pick and pull up in White Lake. I was able to get the bumper, the fender, and the wheel well from the one here closer to my house. The hood, I had to travel about an hour and a half drive-wise to get. Uh, I got it. It's actually in fairly decent shape. It's got some little rock, hell dents, whatever you want to call them. But I've already started the body work on it. So um, I scuffed it up with a maroon scotch bright first just to see what was high and low and everything else came across the spots that i was going to have to dig a little deeper on so i started digging a little bit deeper so let me show you where i'm at all right sorry for the shadow but as you can tell i literally just got done sanding it but we got places like this that i'm going to have to take a higher grit paper to or lower grit paper to There's a couple of them this one's not so bad anymore i was able to feather edge it pretty decently this one's still got a little bit of wear. This one's not so great. This one's not so great. And uh, then it's just got some orange peel looking crap on it. But I got to clean it up and then do some work. Still got a little bit more scuffing to do because I'm sure you can see the light hitting it just right where it will show a little bit of the brightness, stuff like that. A little bit more work to do that way. I got this side really good, but this side still needs some work. Um, so... We'll get to work on that these are the headlights as you can tell that one's hanging a little out there and down and that's because that piece over there broke so i have to make a piece that goes from there to the fender that goes from the core support to the fender so that will mount up like it's supposed to once the hood is off that light will actually sit up like it's supposed to same headlight over there as you can tell these have halos on them you have to wire those up to where an ignition switch wire and they'll come on when you hit the key i'll have pictures posted of that probably right here actually there's the fender well there's the fender there's the bumper uh we're going to get more detail on the bumper because when you do plastic not only do you have to sand but when you get ready to paint you have to use an adhesion promoter with the first coat and i do have an adhesion promoter so i will be using that but you got to strip it down to where everything is off of it. It's cleaned up really good so you can actually paint it. The grill is down there somewhere. The grill is kind of chrome at the moment. But the grill itself is going to be painted black. And the Mazda symbol is going to stay silver. Now, actually, I may paint it to where it matches the color of the car. Uh, I got single stage paint. Single stage paint. Uh, ready to shoot. Um, don't have to use a reducer if I don't want to. Don't have to use a hardener. None of that mess. So I don't have the clear coat as well because it is a single stage paint. So when I get to that point, I don't know if I'm going to video me doing that. Or if I will time lapse it. Or if I'm just going to spray and then come back with a video and show you. Um, I just haven't made my mind up yet with the way I'm going with that. But we will find out together. And depending on how I feel. We'll find out together we'll get this rocking and rolling and ready to rock and go and i'm going to get back to work on the hood and I'll give you an update as soon as i can okay i've started body work so i got the first coat for primer not necessarily primer but more of a guide coat down so i can go in here and sand it once it dries and then do the little body work that you can see the little dents and stuff on so but it's getting there it's going to wrap up this episode uh i want to come back with part two it's going to be more body work 
Hopefully Pain will be in that one. I'm not sure. But thank you for watching this episode. And remember to like, subscribe, and follow. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, tell me. If you do, tell me. Tell me if you think I should film the painting. And I might do it, depending on the votes I get. So, have until then, have a great day. And thank you for watching my episode.